It has to make you wonder. The year was 1881. Edison was beginning to mass produce light bulbs. A time when ideas and progress abound. Not the least of which is what would become one of the founding schools at Western University. The beginnings of the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry is one of 17 medical schools in this country and then 150 across North America. If you think about how we've done as a school, you go back to 1881, and you look at what's been achieved over the course of that interval of time, it's actually quite impressive. The impacts that we've had on being able to improve the quality of life of individuals, to do innovative research, to move into the patient plateaus, it's been an impressive 130 years. It's hard to say whether it was instilled by the school or the innate nature of the people themselves that made them want to give back. However, school pride extended all the way to the front lines. The idea of extending lives soon transformed into simply saving them. Your health is, is never a point insult, so to speak. It is the event that is added to by everything that you've done through your life, so it doesn't matter whether it's exercise as a child, your, the amount that you've read, uh, where you were raised, you know, what type of work you had, all of those things are going to impact. So here at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, we're really looking at that whole spectrum. We are actually also training the next generation of scientists. And they may not all be working in labs or such, they may find themselves in the business world or in law or in economics, but they've had their foundations here from us. And, and in today's society, we often tend to want to draw a straight line from, well, you've, you've made this discovery right through to, and now I can commercialize it, or I'm going to have an impact on somebody's health care for that. It's not that easy. Over the years, only two things remained constant. Change and the relentless quest to help others live longer, healthier lives. The individuals that we are bringing out in our medical schools currently are going to be the physicians that look after our population as it hits the aging crutch. Although we may not be able yet to stop some of these illnesses, actually I think we're in a position where we can start to ask questions about how do we delay them? We're not thinking about just what are we teaching today, but am I preparing our students to be ready for tomorrow? Uh, because tomorrow is like 30 years away from now. Right? That's how long they're going to be practicing. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry is home to undergraduate and postgraduate medical education programs that extend throughout southwestern Ontario, as well as undergraduate and graduate dental program, graduate studies program, and an undergraduate Bachelor of Medical Sciences program. Of course, there are many contributions our students and faculty have made, such as Dr. Ian McQuinney, the father of family medicine, and Dr. Henry Barnett, whose dogged research into the effects of aspirin on stroke patients helped change the way stroke patients are treated to this very day. You think of people like Henry Barnett. You know, Barney really was an absolute pioneer. The ability to apply absolute rigor to clinical trials for stroke intervention, and then ultimately show there's only a population of patients who benefit from surgery. That fundamentally changed the way we practice medicine. And so when you look at our faculty here, it's a world leader. Uh, we have the only PhD program in family medicine. And what Dr. McWinney did, and, and really is viewed as the father of modern healthcare as it relates to family medicine, was to establish not only the College of Family Physicians, but also to say that community practice, rural practice, urban practice are all different. They're different patient populations and you should be taught differently. Because of the closeness of relationship between faculty and residents, there is a humongous amount, really a terrific amount of mentorship that occurs. Every medical student that graduates from Western University and Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry has had a community experience and oftentimes a significant community experience. What people are doing outside of our faculty. You know, the amount of time that they're dedicating and contributing to, to charitable organizations, to what they do nationally or internationally, the number of individuals who have traveled to other countries and worked in underserviced areas. Nobody's ever asked them to. Nobody ever said it was something we needed to do. 
Integrity is something that you can't buy, but we seem to have it in, in spades. But maybe that's why our students do so well in this area, right? Because they see it uh, and, and people really do live those values of our school. Purely by design, throughout a period of more than 130 years, Schulich Medicine and Dentistry has developed into a world-renowned medical and dental school that covers several disciplines. One of the things that we are really focusing on is where are we on the global platform? We talk about globalization and internationalization of everything from our students to our curriculum to our research and such. We can't be everywhere, but there are areas of the world where we can strike up really meaningful relationships where this is a, a two-sided discussion. We have as much to learn about healthcare or research or environmental toxicities as we have to teach. To know that we have this expertise, right, that we have the capacity to really change the way the healthcare is done, that's just cool, right? When you think about it, you know, that's, it's, it's a pretty gifted life to be part of that uh, and to see what's going on. After all, at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, it's all about life. From the moment it begins.